oh my God, what has happened to Bitcoin? It has dumped and dumped and dumped. And how low will this dump go? Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Get the Crypto.com Visa card. You can use this wherever Visa is accepted all over the world. Make sure you use my link to get a $25 bonus when you register. Link in the description below. Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, building a pockets with crypto profit. I am recording this video on Sunday the 8th of May, but it's likely to go out on Monday the 9th of May. So some of the prices may have changed and I think they're going to go be downwards. They're going to be further down by the time this video goes out. Now, I'm traveling these last couple of days, so I've not been posting videos regularly. I will be back with my good friend Amir Ness for our weekly TA videos next Monday. And we're also hoping to have a very special guest, somebody very, very good with technical analysis. So make sure you subscribe and comment and like, and please follow this video and follow me on Odyssey. Join my official Telegram announcements channel and follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT. Now, this is Bitcoin on the daily chart on CoinMarketCap. I'm using CoinTrader, which is a free charting application. And you can see here on the 4th of May, Bitcoin broke through resistance at 39,000, but it didn't close above. And then the following day on the 5th of May, it dropped all the way down to just over 36,000. And it's been dropping ever since. Now, why has it been dropping and how will it low will it go? Now, I'm going to refer to this article by Jeff John Roberts from Decrypt.co. And I shall link to this in the description below. Jeff is one of the team, I think the editor at Decrypt. And this is what he has to say. Bitcoin is down over 8% this week and has fallen nearly 50% from last year's all-time high. Ethereum is down 5% over, over the week, while the newer best of breed coins like Solana, Terra, and Avalanche fell over 10% this week. Things haven't looked this bad in a while, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. Now, the primary culprit for this is the global macro economy. Governments around the world are being walloped by inflation levels not seen in 40 years, and central banks are finally taking measures like jacking interest rates and shrinking their balance sheets to fix this. But taking away the cheap money that has powered decades of surge stocks and real estate prices has knocked all the other assets. So the Federal Reserve increased interest rates last week. Everything went up after they announced it, and then the following day, everything's been going down. We also have other global events like the war in Ukraine, COVID lockdowns in China, and these are fueling further sell-offs and adding to the sense of unease. In these circumstances, is it any surprise people are flushing their Shiba Inu tokens. Now, the authors argue that crypto industry itself has become a bubble waiting to pop. From the glut of worthless layer one chains to fly-by-night NFTs to Floyd Mayweather's latest pump and dump, there's a lot of money being squandered in stupid ways. That's fine as long as there are enough greater fools out there to buy that garbage. But when the music stops, it's going to look a lot like the ICO fallout of 2018. We might be at that stage again now. Paradoxically, though, the current carnage we're seeing could be cause for optimism rather than should be cause for optimism. Since the birth of Bitcoin, the crypto industry has been marked by spectacular booms, followed by painful crashes. If history repeats itself, and I'm betting it will, the impending downturn will serve as a healthy cleanse and reboot for the industry. That's what happened in 2013, when the price of Bitcoin brushed the once draw dropping figure of 1,200 only to plummet afterwards. Now it took years to reach that level again, but in the interim, something remarkable happened. Dedicated teams put their heads down and built a series of innovations that transformed the industry. And by the time the next boom rolled around in 2016, Crypto had gone from being just Bitcoin and a handful of altcoins like Litecoin and XRP to encompass smart contracts, utility tokens, and a multi-chain future. A similar thing happened after the bust of 2018 when crypto came roaring back in 2021. The technology had changed profoundly. A series of stylish NFT platforms had eclipsed the primitive crypto kitties of the previous boom. DAOs took off for real and the entire plumbing of the industry had become far more sophisticated. This is going to happen again. Just as in the past, the dilettantes and hustlers will move to some other shiny thing, while the real crypto believers will stick around to lay the groundwork for the next era of Web3. It's hard to predict exactly what this next era will look like, but a good bet is that it will feature low gas fees, easy to use layer two options, and NFTs moving to the core of the music and entertainment industries. It's a fun future to imagine, provided you have the stomach to get through another crypto winter. 
So short-term bearish, long-term bullish. Now this is Bitcoin on the weekly chart. And I think we could have a drop to 29,000. That's the next main support zone. I don't think it's going to go any lower than that because historically, Bitcoin hasn't dropped below previous all-time highs of previous bull runs. Now there may be, you now it may bounce around a little bit here, but the down, but the trajectory is downward. I wish it wasn't, but that's what the charts tell me. At least that's my reading of the charts. Let me know what you think in the description below, rather in the comments. In the description below, I'll have my links to this channel, my Twitter, my Telegram. Please support my work by following me there and share this video. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich signing out. All the best. Bye-bye.